Good evening, and welcome to this eighth day of prayer for Christian unity. Uh, again, this is uh, material that was provided by the Grand Champ community, a monastic and ecumenical community in France. The first reading from Scripture is from Paul's letter to the church in Colossae. Paul writes, he is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions, rulers or powers, all things have been created through him and for him. He himself is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning the firstborn from the dead, so that he might come to have a place, the first place, in everything. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of the cross. From the Gospel of Mark, chapter 4. Jesus also said, With what can we compare the kingdom of God, and what parable will we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, which, when sown upon the ground, the smallest of all the seeds on earth, and yet when it is sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all shrubs, puts forth large branches, so that the birds of the air can make nests, in its shade. A meditation. The hymn to Christ in the epistle of Colossians invites us to sing the praise of God's salvation, which encompasses the entire universe. Through the crucified and risen Christ, a path of reconciliation has been opened up. Creation, too, is destined for a future of life and peace. With the eyes of faith, faith, we see that the kingdom of God is a reality that is very close, but is still very small, hardly visible, like a mustard seed. However, it is growing. Even in the distress of our world, the spirit of the risen one is at work. He encourages us to become involved with all people of goodwill, in tirelessly seeking justice and peace, ensuring the earth is once again a home for all creatures. We participate in the work of the Spirit so that creation in all its fullness may continue to praise God when nature suffers, when human beings are crushed. The Spirit of the risen Christ, far from allowing us to lose heart, invites us to become part of his work of healing. The newness of life that Christ brings, however hidden, is a light of hope for many. It is a wellspring of reconciliation for the whole of creation and contains a joy that comes from beyond ourselves, so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. Do you wish to celebrate the newness of life that Christ gives through the Holy Spirit? and let it live among you, among us, in the church, in the world, and in all of creation. Let us join together in prayer. Thrice holy God, we thank you for having created and loved us. We thank you for your presence in us and in creation. May we learn to look upon the world as you look upon it with love. In the hope of this vision, may we be able to work for a world where justice and peace flourish. For the glory of your name. Amen. Thank you for joining me this past week in prayers for Christian unity. I invite us all to continue not only in our prayers, but in fellowship, in expanding our sense of brotherhood and sisterhood, that we are united all in Christ because of the faith that we have in him.
no matter the tradition, no matter the form of baptism that we receive, we have all been baptized into the one body, one faith, one Lord, Jesus Christ. God be with you all. Have a good evening.